Last November, when we were out in California for the introduction of the all-new Toyota Prius, we came away very impressed with what was, up to that point, one of our least favorite cars in the world. But if we've said it once, we've said it a hundred times. Driving something for a few hours can be very different than living with something for a week. So today here on Robostrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive, we're having a look at the all new Toyota Prius and see if living with it for a week, do we still have that good impression that we did back in November? It came as a real shock to us in November, as we said, that when we drove this new Toyota Prius, that we could give it one of our highest compliments. We no longer hated the car. This has been a bit of a revelation over the last week. And, and here's what I mean by this. The Prius always felt like, not necessarily a science experiment, but it was I don't know, it was sort of out there to try things and test things, which, okay, we get that. Um, sorry, I gotta turn on the fan here because it's 85 degrees out today and, you know, first, uh, one of the first warm days here as we're uh, late into the spring and need a little, not quite used, quite yet used to it. Um, but what really took us was just how good this thing was compared to the old one. Um, the ride, the right quality was better. It wasn't nearly as loud. It rode so much better. It actually handled. And what I mean by handled is, it wasn't kind of just, you turn the wheel and you have no idea where you're going. You, When you turn the wheel in this, you feel a bit connected to the road, which is shocking. Um, this thing is a bit like the Toyota Camry, which really should come as no shock, right? This sells incredibly well. Pretty much every car enthusiast in the world hates it, thinks it's a waste. Totally get that up to this point. Um, but what's incredible is, with this new one, it takes care of 90% of the complaints that most people would have about it. Uh, it is incredibly roomy inside. The back seat, no problem. You can fit you know, two people back there, maybe three in a pinch, but there's plenty of leg room and all that. When you fold the seats down, the cargo capacity is huge, and we tested that. So we're getting ready to move house and had to run over to the Home Depot and get some uh, container tubs so we could especially pack up the garage. So we got three 55-gallon uh, tubs, which are, you know, maybe I can roll in a picture, but they're, you know, two and a half, three feet long and about, you know, foot and a half tall, maybe, maybe a little taller. Uh, and then two 37 gallon tubs. Okay, so yes, they're all stacked inside each other, but you get the idea, it's, that's a lot of space. And if we tried to just slide it in sideways, I'm not sure how well it would have fit sideways with the, with the big container, or if it even would have fit um, inside, you know, if I could get it through the door that way. So open the hatch, put the seats down. They don't fold, although they don't fold completely flat. Bit of a bummer, there's about, uh, Yay much of a lip to it when you pull, put the front seat down. I mean, the front seat or the back seat folds flat, but there's about this much of a step between um, the floor and then the seat. So we're able to put the 55 gallon tubs in and the 37 gallon tubs in side by side. And again, we'll roll in it. We got a picture for you of that. Um, close the hatch, and we were good to go. And there's a couple people at the Home Depot are like, you're, you're not going to be able to fit that in there. Uh, that, that's not gonna work. And I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. And of course we did it, which speaks to the flexibility of this car. It takes, you know, you can haul four people around all day. It's flexible for, for, for holding cargo. Um, and of course, the biggest reason you would buy this Toyota Prius, fuel economy. So let's talk about that. So with fuel economy, this is rated, uh, 58 city, 
53 highway 56 combined those numbers as we said back in November are accurate and doable uh, we went to get coffee one morning it's like a five mile drive and pulled down almost 70 miles per gallon I don't want to say not even trying because okay we were a little conscious how we drove maybe we change our driving habits five ten percent and we're able to do that um, as I flip through the trip uh, computer here we've had this uh, we had it for a week we haven't been able to do as much driving as we wanted but with 162 miles 164 miles uh, we're averaging 57.4 miles to the gallon not bad and that includes you know a decent a uh, couple decent highway runs um, for our uh, USP or go shooting in U USPSA uh, last Sunday so the fuel economy numbers are spot on and yes sure you could get worse fuel economy if you put keep your foot into it but if you just change your driving habits just a little bit um, you can well and exceed the stated fuel economy numbers if you just drive kind of normally you're gonna hit those numbers dead on so that is incredible again most hybrids they don't come anywhere near what those numbers say they do the EPA is you know the EPA uh, and the ratings for numbers when it comes to hybrids usually manufacturers game the system right they will set up the strategy so that it just exactly coincides with how the EPA uh, does the testing if Toyota did it okay fine but you're able to still get those same results in the real world the other big selling point on this thing is value so we all, we always talk about value for money is it good value for money fair value you know whatever the sticker on this is like 24750 for this uh, eco for this Prius 2 eco model uh, to say that the head is out you know anything but outstanding value is if you don't think that's outstanding value you're missing the boat the build quality on this is good uh, the materials are okay you know I mean yes it's a lot of plastic but they've actually softened got some soft points to it um, you know you got your nav screen you got your big touch screen here it works up you know works fine uh, this one doesn't have XM radio which is a bit of a mess but whatever uh, this also doesn't have any heated or cooled seats in it again do you need it with the cloth seats eh, you know it's kind of nice but you no know, if you don't have it you could live without it right so for 20 under 25 grand you can have a car that's gonna get approaching 60 miles to the gallon unless you drive like a complete moron it fits four people it's flexible for whatever cargo you might want or not you know you can you can run to the Home Depot and get stuff right uh, or Lowe's or you know Menards or whatever insert your favorite big box hardware store or, you know Best Buy whatever you, plenty of flexibility in here seats for people it rides well it's comfortable it's not quiet but it's reasonable for the class and the price right and compared to the old car it's miles better so that's why we say the value on this thing is just through the roof. Styling, okay, it's a take it or leave it thing. You're either gonna like it, you can either like it, you're okay with it, or you think it's absolutely hideous. And all three answers aren't wrong, okay? It just, do we like the way it looks? You know, there's certain, as we said, there's certain angles we kinda like, and other angles it's like, mm, okay, we need to go back to school on some of these, right? Maybe in 10 years, it'll it'll make more sense, but whatever. This thing has been, like I said, a bit of a revelation. The week of ride, driving this thing, in previous Priuses, it's like, oh God, I gotta drive the Prius, I gotta put miles on it, whatever. This one, it's like, okay, you just jump in and you're driving, and it's fine. So, Toyota has really nailed this thing. I mean, just absolutely nailed this thing. Even if you don't like Priuses, you got to go drive one just to see what it's about. It's kind of crazy how far this thing evolved. And I will still go back to what was said in the original uh, intro review, first drive review. This thing handles well enough. Okay, it doesn't have the acceleration, but I would love to put 
a set of sway bars, maybe a little better, stiffer springs, and some sticky tires on this thing, and take it autocrossing. It really does handle that well. I mean, shockingly how good this thing handles. Are we gonna go buy one? No. Could we see a reason to, or could we, I mean, it's just not what we, what we want. Doesn't really fit our lifestyle. But if it wasn't for say the dogs, or uh, if we had like a long commute, or just, you know, did a lot of commuting, could we see this as in the genre we look at? Yeah, it's, it's that good given different circumstances, even even we would look at this thing to buy. That's, it's that good. 